What's poppin' YouTube world? My name is Jamal McKinney, or you can just call me Juice, because that is my nickname. I appreciate you guys for watching this video today. Be sure to smash this like button right now, as it does help these videos get to the public and the channel to grow. Subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. I do post a ton of great sports videos on here weekly, and I post every single day if I can, and turn on post notifications too, so you don't miss a single one of those videos that I post. It's only right to you guys. Alright, look, I want to talk about Georgia and Notre Dame because it's a big matchup this week okay in college football this week Notre Dame and Georgia will meet Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time okay and I'm excited for the game I'm excited to watch that game I'm intrigued to see how Georgia and Alabama I'm sorry not Georgia and Alabama Georgia and Notre Dame match up I'm, I'm excited to see how both these teams match up you know Georgia's num the number three team in the country Notre Dame's the number seven team in the country and you know Georgia's favored by 13 and a half points over Notre Dame as we speak today at the time of this recording and I gotta tell you I actually kind of agree I was surprised that the number came out this high as Georgia being a 13 and a half point favorite but I gotta agree guys I mean I know some people are giving Notre Dame a shot to win this game but I'm sorry I, I just don't see it I, I don't see Notre Dame competing with Georgia at all and it's not that Notre Dame's not a good team I just think Georgia's so good I think they're just that much better than Notre Dame and pretty much that much better than the whole rest of college football I mean Georgia is the number three team in the country for a reason to me right now the best four teams in the country playing right now is Clemson Georgia Alabama and Ohio State if you had to ask me who are the four best teams right now those are the four best teams playing as of right now I know LSU and Oklahoma are playing pretty good but those are the four teams I think right there and I just think that Notre Dame is going to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, again, if the game was in Notre Dame, it was played at Notre Dame, I, I lean toward Notre Dame a little bit. But to me, Georgia's going to dominate this game. They're going to they're gonna smack Notre Dame. I, I think Georgia's going to win by at least 20 points. I really do. I think Notre Dame's in the wrong spot at the wrong time. And look, I like Notre Dame, like I said. I like them. In the offseason, I picked them to go 9-3 and three in the offseason. I picked them to go 9-3, and three, and I said they have the potential to go 10-2, and two, okay? That's good to get you into a New Year's Six Bowl game. I mean, I like their quarterback, Ian Book. They have great playmakers at wide receiver. They're well coached. I think Brian Kelly does not get enough credit for how good of a coach he is. It's pretty hard to recruit and coach players at Notre Dame because you're not getting the four and five star athletes that uh, Ohio State, Alabama, Georgia is getting pretty much every single year. It's hard to recruit players based on the academics at Notre Dame. So Brian Kelly's doing a great job. And they just made the college football playoffs last year. So Notre Dame deserves some of our respect. But to me, to say they're the number seven team in the country, that's a little bit too high to me. That's a little bit too high. Um, and again, I just think look, Georgia's legit. And one of the biggest reasons why I think Georgia is going to pretty much beat Notre Dame is because, listen, like I said, Notre Dame, they've not been impressive. They just have not. Notre Dame, week number one, struggled to beat a Louisville team last year that won two games. They're going up against Georgia in Athens, okay? It's on the road in Georgia. Louisville in that game, a two-win ACC team last year. That's how bad Louisville was last year. They won two games in the ACC. Outside of Clemson, who's the real team in the ACC you know? Miami, they're not very good. Florida State, I mean, Florida State's terrible. Uh, Miami, abysmal. V Virginia, S Syracuse, is it? Is it come to a point where Virginia and Syracuse, a Syracuse team that just go, got blown out by Maryland and got blown out and obliterated by Clemson? Is Syracuse the second best team in the ACC? Is, I don't know, Miami, Virginia? In the ACC last year, Louisville won two games. They're not a good team. In that game in which they played Notre Dame, they had more first downs, more rushing yards. They controlled the clock better. They had better time of possession. The game was way too close to call. That game was way too close for my liking. Notre Dame played sloppy on the road at Louisville. They missed a lot of tackles. They had missed assignments. And again, they allowed over 200, about 240 yards rushing in that game. Georgia is right now averaging 209, 286 yards per game running the football. Okay, they their run defense in that Louisville game was terrible. If they cannot stop Louisville's running game, imagine what DeAndre Swift, right behind the best offensive line in college football, is going to going to do to that Notre Dame defense. He's going to shred them. He's going to shred them apart. Georgia's running game it, it, combined with Notre Dame's run, run defense is a mismatch. Georgia's going to control the line of scrimmage. They're going to bully Notre Dame up front with the best offensive line in college football, with DeAndre Swift, with that number one running game. And again, to me, Georgia has the better offensive line. They have the better players. They have better athletes. They have the better defense. 
They have more playmakers. They have, they have a better quarterback. They have better athletes overall. They're just overall a better team. When I watch Georgia play, I get the sense they're a top three team. While I've been watching Notre Dame play this year, I don't even get the sense that they're quite a top seven team. I just don't. And listen, I get it. Notre Dame, you can say, well, they should have a shot. They just made the college football playoffs last year. They were undefeated. And I get it. They, they were good last year. But just wasn't buying it. I, I Listen, did you see Notre Dame versus Clemson last year? Because you got you to think about this, okay? They're not going up against an average team. They're going up against Georgia. Georgia is not Clemson, but they're close. They're at least close to Clemson. Did you see Notre Dame play Clemson last year? They did not match up physically. They did not. They didn't match up as far as the speed on the outside. They didn't. They don't have the athletes that Georgia has. They're not athletically as good as Georgia. They're just not a. They're just not a team that I think it can, that can match up with an SEC team as capable as Georgia is. Okay, Georgia's a whole another animal. Okay, it's one thing to go undefeated and beat. I don't know Michigan, who looked terrible when they played an Ohio State team that has athletes like a Georgia. Okay, it's one thing to go. Beat USC, who's overrated. Okay, they beat they beat USC and Florida State last year. Am I impressed with that? No. Okay. And ironically, last year, guys, when Notre Dame faced a SEC team, the one SEC team that faced them last year, the one team down south that kind of has somewhat of good of athletes, kind of can match up with them physically, you know, as far as the speed goes, the strength, the overall just girth of a player. When they faced Vanderbilt last year, a six-win team. They only won by five points. A six-win Vanderbilt team that arguably was not even one of the five or six best SEC teams last year. When Notre Dame faced them last year, they won by five points at home. And in that game, Vanderbilt had more yards in that game than Notre Dame. They had more yards per, per play than Notre Dame. They outplayed Notre Dame in that game. Honestly, Vanderbilt should have beaten Notre Dame last year. So you're telling me a Notre Dame team that came to stop Louisville's running game, that cannot, that has that had a ton of trouble stopping Louisville's offense and running game, is gonna go into Athens, Georgia, and compete with and beat Georgia? I just can't see it. I, I think Notre Dame's in the wrong place at the wrong time. I fully expect Georgia to dominate this game. In the offseason, I picked Georgia to make the college football playoffs. I said they were going to win the SEC over Alabama. To me, the playoff teams I think will make it this year are going to be Clemson, Georgia, Oklahoma, and Ohio State. I made a video talking about those teams. Be sure to check that out if you have not checked that out already. But again, I'm just high on this Georgia team. I really am. And it's not that Notre Dame's not a good team. Like I said, I have them winning 10 or 9 games. I think they're going to win 9 or 10 games. They will be probably in a New Year's Six Bowl. Okay? But Georgia's just a whole other animal. Notre Dame cannot match up physically with Georgia. They don't have the speed on the outside. They don't have the athletes to match up with Georgia. You saw last year when they faced the one SEC team that wasn't very good. They struggled when they faced the SEC, SEC caliber team in Clemson. Because let's be real, guys. Clemson's pretty much an SEC caliber team playing in the ACC. Now, again, don't proclaim me as an SEC homer. I like Ohio State. I, I go to the University of Toledo. I'm a Toledo Rockets fan. I'm an Ohio State Buckeyes fan, okay? I'm not a guy that just favors the SEC and says, oh, the SEC is just so much better than everyone else. To me, this year, the Big Ten is the deepest conference in all college football. So I'm not an SEC homer here. You're not. I'm not one of those guys that says, oh, the SEC this, SEC that. No, I'm pretty objective here. And I just think Notre Dame's a good team, but Georgia's that much better. Georgia's going to dominate Notre Dame. I, again, maybe Notre Dame pulls one out of their hat and competes in this game. I don't see them winning this game at all. I think that Georgia at least wins by 10. And I think they will cover the spread and win by at least 20 points. They're going to cover the points. I fully expect Georgia to dominate. I fully expect Georgia to show why they are arguably the best team in the SEC this year, even potentially better than Alabama. I expect them to show why Notre Dame is a little bit overrated. And to me, Georgia just overall is the better team. Notre Dame. They're not competing with Georgia. Be sure to comment where you agree with me or you disagree with me. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in that comment section. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video today. Be sure to smash this like button right now. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new as well. I do post a ton of great sports videos weekly and almost every single day if I can. A fun fact about me is I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world. I want to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. Kind of like Colin Cowherd, Stephen A. Smith, Shannon Sharp. You get the point. Okay, I want to do sports, television, and radio for a full living once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern 
Ohio. I currently am a freshman there right now. So the best thing you guys can do to just help me continue to grow as a young broadcaster is to just share this channel with all your friends because potentially if this channel really, really gets somewhere, I want to start my own network, okay? You know, or potentially if it doesn't, you know, or if I fall a little bit short, I want to go into a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. So the best thing you guys can do to just flat out just help me grow as a broadcaster help me learn you know get other people hit to this channel you know just share this channel with all your friends share this channel on facebook share it on twitter share it on instagram all that good stuff also be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms and once again guys just share this channel with everyone you know get everyone hipped and watching these videos get my voice out there and heard share it on facebook share it on twitter share it on instagram all that good stuff it's been your boy jemiah mckinney or you can just call me juice i appreciate all you guys for tuning in today i really do have a god blessed day stay motivated you guys and i'm out